Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel Frontend Insight. Today we are diving into the world of JavaScript with the most asked interview questions. Whether you are preparing for job interview or just looking to brush up on your JavaScript knowledge, we have got you covered. Let's get started. So the first question is what are the different data types in JavaScript? Okay, so JavaScript has several data types that you should be familiar with and they include primitive data types number string boolean undefined null symbol and begin it and non primitive data types object and array okay so here is an example to illustrate this type okay so number holds the value 42 which is numeric type string contain hello world which is text value is true is a boolean representation uh, boolean representing true okay so nothing is explicitly set to null meaning it represents an intentional absence of any object value not defined is undefined because it has been declared but not assigned a value then big init value is a big int type allowing for very long integer very large integer unique symbol is a symbol a unique value often used to object property keys array is an array a special type of object for storing ordered collection obj is a basic object containing properties name and age okay so now move to the second question explain the concept of hosting in javascript okay so hosting is a javascript mechanism where variable and function declaration are more to the top of their containing scope during the compiled time okay so this allows you to use variable and function before they are declared okay so here is an example okay so in this example my where is logged before it's assigned a value due to hosting it doesn't throw an error but logs undefined instead the function foo is called before its declaration and it works because function declaration are fully hoisted okay so now move to the third question what is the difference between double equal to and triple equal to in javascript okay so double equal to is the equality operator that performs type correlation converting the values to the same type before comparison so triple equal to is a strict equality operator that requires both value and type to be same okay here is an example so in this example 5 double equal to string 5 returns to because double equal to operator converts the string 5 to a number before comparison okay so and 5 triple equal to string 5 returns false because triple equal to operator checks both type and value and here they are different okay so number and string now move to the fourth question next question what is the closer in javascript a closer is a feature in javascript where an inner function has access to variables in its outer functional scope even after the outer function has finished executing closer are useful for creating private variable and functions here is an example so in this example the inner function is closer because it retain access to outer var even after outer has finished executing okay so when may when my closer is called it still has access to outer where demonstrating how closer can preserve a function's lexical scope okay so what is the difference between function declaration and function expression this is the next question okay so a function declaration is a named function defined with the function keyword it is hoisted and can be called before its definition in the code a function expression involves creating a function and assigning it to a variable function expression are not hoisted and can only be called after their definition 
okay so in this example as a function declaration can be called before its definition the function expression const greet equal to function can only be called after it's defined as it is not hosted okay so now move to the next question what is that this keyword in javascript and how does it works okay so this keyword refers to the object that is executing the current function its value depends on the context in which the function is called example of this in different context okay so in this example show called it in the global scope refers to the global object window in a browser or undefined in a strict mode so object dot show obj dot show refers to the obj because this points to the object that owns the method now move to the next question how do you clone an object in javascript there are several ways to clone an object in javascript let's look at three common methods using object dot assign using spread operator using json methods okay so in this examples uh, object dot assign create a shallow copy of the original object the spread operator also create a shallow copy uh, we use the three dot symbol here okay then we have java java sorry json dot parse json dot stringify and then original creates a deep copy but only works for simple objects without methods or special types like date now move to the next question what is the difference between null and undefined so null represent the intentional absence of a value while undefined means variable has been declared but not yet been assigned a value here is an example in this example a is explicitly set to null including the absence of a value b is declared but not assigned a value so it is undefined now move to the next question to explain the concept of prototypal in uh, inheritance prototypal inheritance is a feature in javascript where objects inherits properties and methods from other objects each object has a property a prototype and if a property or method is not found on the object itself it is looked up on its prototype okay so in this example rabbit using object dot create animal so it inherits property from animal when you access rabbit dot is it returns true because it is a property of animal which is the prototype of rabbit now move to the next question what is the difference between set timeout and set interval okay so set timeout execute a function once after a specified delay while set interval repeatedly execute a function at a specified interval okay and set timeout and set intervals are the functionalities of browser not javascript okay so in this example set timeout is used to log a message once after a two second delay and set interval is used to log a message every two second now move to the next question what is a promise and how does it works promise in javascript represent the eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation it allows you to write asynchronous code in a more manageable way here is an example okay so in this example my promise is created with a function that resolve after one second okay and my promise dot then um, then is used to handle the resolve value logging done to the console after the delay now move to the next question what is async await and how does it simplify working with promises 
okay so async await is a way to work with promises more elegantly it allows you to write asynchronous code that looks synchronous making it easier to read and understand okay so in this example the fetch data function is declared as async meaning it returns a promise await is used to pause the function execution until my promise is resolved and making the code easier to read compared to chaining and then compared to chaining dot then method and move to the next question what is the event loop in javascript the event loop is a mechanism that allows javascript to perform a non-blocking operation by uploading task to the browser or in the environment in which the javascript is running and then executing the next next piece of code when the call stack is clear okay so the event loop is continually check if the call stack is empty and then process and uh, the next task from the queue uh, this enables javascript to handle asynchronous task efficiently ensuring that long running operation like input output or network request don't block the main thread now move to the next question explain the concept of debouncing and throttling debouncing and throttling are techniques used to control the rate at which a function is executed particularly in response to high frequency events like scrolling and uh, sorry scrolling or res uh, resizing okay so in this example the debouncing function ensure that the resize event handler is called only after the user stops resizing the window for 500 millisecond okay now an example of throttling the throttle function limits the scroll event handler to the uh, to be called at most once every second so regardless of how frequently the user scroll okay so friends so that's it for today's video on the topmost asked javascript interview questions i hope you found this explanation and example helpful Remember, mastering this concept will not only help you in interview but also make you better JavaScript developer. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such interview preparation videos. Also hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future uploads. Future uploads. Thanks for watching and Best of luck with your coding journey.